Okay, here we have a cumulative frequency question. Uh, the grouped frequency table shows information about the weekly wages of 80 factory workers. So you've got your weekly wage uh, and your frequency. Frequency, remember, means how many. Uh, this, all this thing here, it means 100 is less than X and is less than or equal to 200. That basically means that the wage, X, is in between 100 and 200. It can't be 100, but it can be 200 because it's less than or equal to 200, but it is greater than and not equal to 100. And that's the same for all of them. So, A, part A, complete, in complete the cumulative frequency table. So that's normal frequency, that's just how many each one has. This one's cumulative frequency, which means we add it up as we go along. So the first one's still going to be 8. Now the next one is going to be 8 plus 15, which is 23. And then it's the 23 plus the next one, so that's adding on the 30, which is 53. Then you need to add on the 17, which is 70. Add on the 7, 77. And add on the 3, that is 80. So obviously it finishes with the total, 80 factory workers as it says at the start of the question. B, on the grid opposite, so over here, draw a cumulative frequency graph for your table. So the way we plot that, obviously we're going to use a pencil to do that, is we start at the lowest point of the graph, we'll start at the lowest possible value from our weekly wages which is 100. So I'm going to start 100, level with 0. Then, it's the high number is going to go against the cumulative frequency. Make sure you use the cumulative frequency and not the frequency. If you use the frequency, your, light, your dots, your points will go up and down or it won't look like a proper cumulative frequency. So, 8 is going to go against 200. So there's 200, uh, the squares, it's 1, 2, it's 10, it's for 10, so that means every square is 1, so it's nice and easy. So 5, 6, 7, 8, across there. Next one, 300 goes with 23, 1, 2, 3, 400 goes with 53, 1, 2, 3, and obviously make sure you're lining everything up, it's very easy to make a mistake. 500 goes with 70. 600 goes with 77. And then the last one, 700 goes with 80. Now you can get, you can see that you're going to get this sort of slight S curve going on. Uh, when you complete the frequency graph, cumulative frequency graph, that's not complete yet, we've only done the coordinates. So what you need to do now is draw a curve as best you can going through all of the points. Now, don't worry it's not perfect because when they ask you questions later on, they ask you to estimate, which means you won't, you won't get the exact number, but they'll give you a range of answers which are okay to, uh, to which will make, mean you're correct. So, there's our cumulative frequency graph. That's part B, we've done that. Now, part C, use your graph to find an estimate for the interquartile range. And to do that, we need a ruler. So, interquartile range, is basically the distance between the lower quartile and the upper quartile. You know the median is halfway through. Well, a quartile, the lower quartile is a quarter of the way through the data, and the upper quartile is three quarters of the way through the data. Now, we know that there are 80 factory workers. Halfway would be 40, so a quarter of the way would be 20. So, what we're going to do is, there's 20. I'm going to draw a line going from 20 until I hit the cumulative frequency curve. That's there. Then I'm going to go down 
like that. Then I'm going to do the same for 60. That's three quarters of the way through the data. There's a line going from 60, hits the curve, and goes down to there. So that means the lower quartile is here, and the upper quartile is there. So the interquartile range is the distance between the two. So uh, this is at, there was 200 to 310 little squares. So every square is 10. That's two away from 300. So that's 280. 280. And that one here is 430. So the interquartile range estimate is going to be 430 take away 280 which is 150. Part D, use your graph to find an estimate for the number of workers with a weekly wage of more than 530 pounds. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to find 530 pounds on our community frequency graph, well there's 500, so one, two, three. We're gonna go up again, and make sure that you're going to go up to the right point now. So it's going to be there. It's hard for me to see because I've got a shadow. Okay. And then across again. This time you're finding a cumulative frequency value, which looks to be 72. Okay. So the line goes across, it hits. 72. But remember the question said, use your graph to find an estimate for the number of workers with a weekly wage of more than £530. So if £530 gets to 72, how many more get above that? Well that's the distance between, the difference between 72 and 80, which is 8. And that's that. That's cumulative frequency.